Hello, I'm Ravi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'll show you how to troubleshoot the connectivity issues in AWS Transit Gateway where there are transit gateway attachments in Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. Let's get started. After the customers create a transit gateway, they create attachments to Amazon PPC, PPN, AWS Direct Connect Gateway, and AWS Transit Gateway Pairing. They create the route table and then associate the attachments. But sometimes they are unable to connect to their PPC resources using AWS Transit Gateway and vice versa. I've created a transit gateway and attached two PPCs, PPC A and PPC B to AWS Transit Gateway. Now for the routing between two PPCs, we'll configure route table and associate it with two PPC attachments. Let me show you how. As you can see, I'm already logged into the AWS Management Console. Open PPC Console. Choose the correct region. On the navigation pane, choose Transit Gateways. Here we can see the Transit Gateway I have already created. On the navigation pane, choose Transit Gateways Attachment. Here you can see a Transit Gateway attached to two PPCs, PPC A and PPC B. On the navigation pane, choose Transit Gateways Route Tables. Here, select default route table which is already created. Choose Associations. Under Associations, all the attachments are automatically associated in the default route table. If it's a custom route table, then we'll need to associate the attachments manually. Choose Propagations. On the propagation, we can see the two PPC attachments are propagated by default. Now choose Routes. We see the routes that have been learned from the Transit Gateway attachments. In case of Transit Gateway attachments to AWS Direct Connect Gateway and Dynamic VPN, if the routes show as black hole in the Transit Gateway route table, then we might not be learning the routes from the remote end. We'll need to investigate in AWS Direct Connect Gateway and PPN. The routes learned by AWS Transit Gateway are not automatically propagated to the Transit Gateway attachments. So we'll need to manually configure the routes in PPC Routable with the target as AWS Transit Gateway. Now let's configure routing in PPC Routable. Open the PPC console. Under the left column, select Route Tables. We can see there are two main route tables for PPC A and PPC B. Let's select the route table for PPC A. Select route tabs and choose edit routes. Choose add route and provide the CIDR of PPC B and in target, select the transit gateway. Now choose save routes. Let's select the route table for PPC B. Select route tabs and choose edit routes. Choose add routes and provide the CIDR of PPC A in target, select the transit gateway. Now choose save routes. Now we'll need to make sure that the instance in PPC A uses the correct route table to reach PPC B and vice versa. Finally, in instance in PPC A, we'll need to allow traffic coming from PPC B and vice versa. Let's check with routing on source, destination, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. Open the Amazon EC2 console. Select instance in PPC A and check if it allows traffic from remote instance in PPC B in its security group and network ACL. Select instance in PPC B and check if it allows traffic from remote instance in PPC A in its security group and network ACL. Now check the route table of instance in PPC A and PPC B and confirm it has a route to a remote network using AWS Transit Gateway. Now I'll show for instance A. So I'll go to the subnet and check the route table. Here you can see there's a route for remote network pointing to transit gateway. Now I'll do the same for instance B. Here you can see PPC B sidecar pointing to transit gateway. Now in the PPC console, select the network ACL. Find the network interface of the transit gateway in PPC A and check the subnet ID. In PPC console under Network ACL, check it if it allows remote traffic PPC B CIDR in inbound rules and outbound rules. 
We'll need to do the same for Elastic Network Interface of the Transit Gateway in PPCB. Now I'll go to EC2 Console, select Network Interface, at the Elastic Network Interface, check for Subnet NACL. There is no security group for AWS Transit Gateway Network Interface. It should allow target IP range in ingress rule and source CIDR in ingress rule. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.